A big health headline after banning trans fats and smoking from most public places, New York City now setting its sights on banning big sugary drinks. Julie Banderas has the details. All in favor of approving the proposal? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. If you live in New York and like to supersize your soft drinks, you might want to start filling up now. Health officials banning all sugary drinks bigger than 16 ounces from places like restaurants, delis, movie theaters, and sports facilities. The city's mayor says the ban is just one step toward helping people make healthier decisions. Sugary drink consumption is a key driver of the obesity epidemic in our city and across the United States. And reducing the amount of sugary drinks that we consume is the simplest diet change that we can make to help lose weight. Some are calling the ban a historic life-saving measure. I want to congratulate the board on taking what I consider to be a historic step to address uh, a major health problem of our time. But others say the law is intrusive and an industry group claims they've gathered more than 250,000 signatures against the ban. There's no indication that banning these beverages in certain establishments across the city will do anything. But there's a lot of indication that it will cause a lot of problems both for individuals who want the choice to drink them and for the businesses that will be hurt by this ban. The group is considering a lawsuit and other legal options to halt the ban. But until then, the law is scheduled to go into effect in March of next year. One person on the city's Board of Health did abstain from voting this morning, saying he is still skeptical. The other eight board members all voted to approve the ban. In New York, Julie Banderas, Fox News.